welcome back to my channel and I'm super excited for today's video and in today's video we're going to drum roll please Italy and if you can't tell by the title I have one heck of a time um, right now I don't know if I'm gonna have a good time I'm kind of assuming because this is the day that we leave today is March 18th my sister's birthday but also the day we leave um, and I'm super excited so over the next week, I'll be visiting Rome, Florence, and Milan for a school study abroad trip. And uh, we're also visiting different businesses there, different sites, and then we have a lot of time to explore on our own. So I thought I would vlog the trip just to vlog my experience. I'm not really sure what this vlog is going to look like, but I just know that you're going to be in for a good time and a good ride because you only go to Italy once with me. I don't know about y'all, but... <laughs> and i'm just so excited so right now i'm finishing up my packing i'm a major procrastinator and i know i should have been packed like on tuesday but it is what it is i'm trying to hurry up now i pretty much have everything it's just a matter of can i close my luggage and i'm gonna stress about whether or not i have anything for until we get there but at that point it is what it is but i to get dressed in my airport fit it's nothing special i promise it's just jeans and a t-shirt and a sweatshirt so i I'm comfortable because we're flying into Paris and then we're going from Paris to Milan and Milan is our first stop and then we're there for about three days and then we're in Florence for one day and then we're in Rome for the last four days and then we fly out of Rome back to New Amsterdam is it New Amsterdam or just Amsterdam it's definitely just Amsterdam I'm thinking of the vodka that's crazy from Amsterdam to Atlanta so it's a it's a journey it's a trip but i'm so excited and i hope that y'all enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and comment one of your favorite travel destinations below or we're somewhere out of the country that you haven't visited yet that you really want to visit and this is my first time in italy so i am so excited and everybody keeps talking about the food so y'all know y'all will be seeing some plates like s s s s like plates plural so um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and join me for this journey and I will see y'all when I am on my way. So peace out. down somewhere and finally have everything together like and not stress about it but that's not gonna be for another two hours probably what's up we made it through security yeah yeah yes yeah, sir yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, i'm going to jfk she going to jfk and i'm going to paris so we split in ways but she was here to walk me through security what a sweet mother <laughs> We finna get on the train, we waiting for it to come. And just almost there. So they're at the gate, we're about to board. Got my boarding pass and it's about to get real. Got two flights, the first flight is in eight hours and 30 22. minutes. 22, 30, same thing. <laughs> and then the second flight is one and a half hours. So about a nine hour journey, really 10 because we have a two hour layover in Paris, so, but we'll see. Um, I'm excited, pretty much everybody's here. And it's 6, like 30 right now? Yeah. Our flight is supposed to leave at 6.45, but it's gonna be late. But it's okay because I'm kind of making, I want that two hour layover to be a lot shorter because I'm gonna be bored and tired. So it's cool, but yeah stay updated i'm gonna let y'all know when i get on i got a window seat god is good <laughs> made it onto the plane i'm in my seat got a window seat i don't have it open yet because i'm gonna wait until it be fly out um but yeah so far no one is that next to me hopefully it stays that way but hey <laughs> so yeah see y'all in paris
finally made it to Paris and after a long line of customs and security we're about to be at our gate for the next flight which leaves in like eight minutes <laughs> but it's okay because we made it through that was a long flight my legs were like hurting I got like maybe four hours of sleep but hey I feel so much more energized it's like 4 a.m. in in the states right now it's around 10 a.m. here so five or six hours ahead but yeah we're gonna catch you in the line <laughs> the hotel in Milan y'all it was a struggle yeah. what okay first of all y'all let me let me just explain so first of all my bag broke <laughs> it's like almost pretty much as soon as we got to the airport one of the wheels fell off on my checked bag so it's like the heaviest one and when I tell you guys I weighed it and it was exactly 50 pounds I mean, first of all, I was lucky that it was 50, but second of all, like, dang, I got a 50 pound luggage with only three wheels, so it was kind of hard to carry and maneuver, and I had it for a second until we got off the bus, so, and the bus ride was about 40 minutes, they said it was going to be like 50 minutes to an hour, but it didn't really feel that long at all, so we got here, I was struggling with my bags again, <laughs> but we finally got checked into our hotel in Milan, and we're about to chill for a second because we've been traveling for like 11 hours now. So it's about time for us to sit down somewhere for a hot minute. And then we're going to the Armani Museum. And I'll explain more of what that is when I know because I don't really know what it is right now, but I'm excited. So I'm gonna change out of this travel fit because I feel gross, I feel dusty. And then we're gonna take it a step up. So I'm gonna see y'all. But you won't see me next clip, but I'm gonna see y'all like an hour, so. Okay, here we are. We decided against the Armani Museum and we're gonna go shopping instead. Because who doesn't love clothes? Right, and I came here to shop at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, and we're in Milan, like fashion central, so might as well. Got about a 15 minute walk, but keep the fit. Okay. <laughs> okay, see y'all in a minute. a full day of shopping and sightseeing and looking at different things and it was really fun got some cool pictures bought some cool stuff and i'll show y'all that later but yeah so far so good we're just sitting down to eat some it's just a snack we haven't eaten since like the plane basically <laughs> um so yeah a little hungry but we have dinner in like an hour so just something to hold us over until then and yeah our first dinner it's like a welcome dinner it's at a classic italian trattoria. so we'll see what they have but everybody says that the food here is amazing so let's hope that they're right <laughs> Check out the dinner spread. Okay, so they usually eat more than one main dish. So they have the first plate and then the second plate and then dessert. And if you're up for it, you can go for a third plate. But right now we're on the second plate, um, which is what I just showed. So we're gonna see how this tastes. I'm not eating the beef, but I'll I'll get opinions from other people. How do you feel about it? It's not terrible. I mean, you're eating it this time, so it's a cost. So. Everything just needs more seasoning. <laughs> yeah. No. Last uh, meal or plate of the night. Got some tiramisu, a classic Italian dish. 
which is like coffee, chocolate, and cream. Excited. Okay, you guys, so we just stopped by an Italian high school's like party basically and we had the time of our lives y'all we just talked to them we just like hung out we asked questions it was literally the best time and I think what were some of the questions we asked they taught us phrases like what was one of them Gazzo! Gazzo! that means I'm not gonna say what that means but look it up if you really want to know and then um do y'all remember the other one it was like it was something nito cazzo son son i don't remember i don't remember right now but it's fine <laughs> something like that but it was really cool <laughs> and we had a great time we asked them also questions about like their social life what school was like what they want to do in their careers and stuff like that they're all really young and they have fun and they have so much fun y'all saw it in the clip before this so um, high school kids. We, these are high school kids. Remember that. 16 to 18. Yes. We're all so much older than them, but it, it was a really good time. They gave us suggestions on where to go while we're here. Just really and nice how people. To be safe. They're, they're just really nice people, y'all. It just roars my heart. I'm not finna cry. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm really not crying, but yeah. Had a good time. Just had to update y'all on that little excursion. heading on a guided tour. We're headed to the Duomo um, and we're taking a tour of the castle and we have him like in our ears so he's talking us through everything and it's pretty cool so far. We're about to take the subway and I'm gonna fill y'all in a little later. is done really enjoyed it very informational stuff very interesting stuff 
Anyway, now we have the rest of the lunch for, or the rest of the lunch for free, the rest of the day free. And so now we're going to explore a little bit and look for a pizzeria because we're hungry. Um, and we have to keep in mind the fact that they close at like two for lunch and they don't open back up until around six. So we're here trying to find something to eat. This is crazy me talking with just this in the background. But yeah, I'm gonna let y'all know what we decide for lunch. Hopefully it's good. It's I'm already knowing. Yeah, and it's really cold. I'm kind of freezing. As you can tell, my fingers are blue. Don't mind my crusty fingers, but yeah. We got some. What's this? Margarita pizza. Decided on a classic Italian place for lunch. Um, it's just a pizzeria. We're going to another one tomorrow, but I was in the mood for pizza today. We just finished our pizza. Now we're moving on to a cappuccino in Italian style. We are on our way back to the hotel to freshen up and get ready to go back out. We did a little bit of shopping. She's full. She's got two bags in there. Um, we found a vintage shop and then we went to Zara. Um, I know it's like, that's in the States. Why would you go here? They have good clothes here, so don't hate on Zara. And then I need coffee, so I'm probably gonna go to that bar at the hotel and get some coffee because I'm a little burnt out. But lunch was so good. I really enjoyed our pizza. Then I got a cappuccino, as y'all saw. And then we walked around for a little bit with that like amazing view, like wow. And then next we're going to the Sforza Castle and our mining museum. Hello, everybody. We are here in Milan clearly from the past few videos um we were trying to go to the sforza museum castle or castle my bad and then the armani museum but y'all we spent 15 minutes trying to find the freaking train station until we decided that that's just not what we're gonna do anymore and this is a great place for effort aperitivo which is like the in-between time during dinner where you get a drink you drink or you get a drink and you eat some snacks because it's not quite dinner time yet and then um you know you just chill you chat you have fun you enjoy the views you enjoy the vibes and that's what we're gonna do because finding a train station is way too hard and we've walked around for a good 15 minutes and we're tired so we ordered an uber they should be here soon <laughs> and um yeah so stay tuned for what we find to get into there hopefully it's nice hopefully it's pretty um and this is like one of the really big sites in milan but yeah so see y'all in a few oh don't play with her <laughs> show y'all what we're working with. That's all I know. Beautiful sunsets here in Milan, Italy. So where else do you want to go? <laughs> okay. Get into the gelato. Thank you so much. Thank you! Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, please. <laughs> Grazie. Oh, he's so cute. My dog would love him. I'm sorry, y'all. We're just getting started with the... We have no idea what it is, but we're going to rock with it. Tomato bread. It's just a tomato bread. Y'all, I thought we had got it. But look at what we accidentally did. We ordered the whole menu. Okay. Let's get into everything. And then a strawberry mojito. Said that her passion for mojito was fire, so we're all good here. Can I buy drinks? What is this? All right, guys, we are about to go to the lounge. Um, don't mind my Hollywood status. Let me be who I am. We got finished with dinner. Um, we stayed there for a good three hours. They brought a hookah, like y'all saw. It was so nice, and they were so nice. We met some cool people. Um, and then we came back, freshened up a little bit, and now we're gonna hit, we were gonna go to a club, but we're trying to walk for 30 minutes. So mm -hmm. now we're just going and we're gonna see what it's talking about. So 
I love the date, y'all. <laughs> this is day three so it's monday and we woke up we had a business visit today or business meeting in the morning um, and now we're on our way to lunch at a pizzeria and then we're going to the alfa romeo museum and if you don't know what that is it's a car manufacturing factory and they're also a brand they have really cool cars but I'm really excited this is it <laughs> and i'm gonna show you guys a little bit more once we get there I did a little bit less of makeup today because I really wasn't feeling it. It was out late last night and I needed my sleep this morning, so we did what we could. Can we keep going, okay? Romeo Museum, our first official stop of the day. We're going on a tour, and um, it's more like a, just a museum, so we get to look around ourselves, and then we have someone to talk to about the production and stuff. So, about to show y'all some cool stuff. I love Alfa Romeo; it's an awesome brand, based here in Milan, um, and their cars are really, really cool. So, we'll learn more about it today. just finished at the Alfa Romeo Museum. I learned a lot about Alfa Romeo and the origins and why they make the cars they do, some of their racing cars, um, regular people cars, sports cars, ugh, all that stuff. So good, so fun. Uh, we're headed now to this place called Campari and they have their own drink here in Italy. So um, that'll be interesting. It's kind of like a aperitivo hour again. So we're, I think we're having some of those, um, but really enjoyed it really nice cars i love cars so that was really interesting to me and yeah i'm ready to get back on this bus and take a nap so <laughs> we're gonna holla at you when we get to Campari. Here at Capari, and we are doing 
So excited, looks so good. Okay, so we're done with Aperitivo. We tried the Campari Spirit, um, and we rated a zero out of 10 because we weren't aware of how bitter it would be. I know they said that it's bitter, but we really wasn't thinking that it was gonna be that bitter. Um, but like, yeah, we took one sip and was like, yeah, this is not for me. And then we put some, or I put some more sparkling water in it to see if I would like it a little bit more. Still wasn't for me, but that's okay. We enjoyed the snacks um, and everything else that they gave us. But now we're on our way back to the hotel and we're, I don't know what we're doing after that. We have the rest of the night free. I really just want some gelato. That's, that's really it. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens but yeah I just wanted to fill you guys in on that experience uh, but I should have gotten the what is it the way she got apparel apparel but after all there we go spritz which was really good it's like prosecco and orange but I don't know if you can hear me so I'm gonna stop it to the hotel and now we're out to get gelato it is approximately 9 22 p.m so we still have the whole night ahead of us but it's not like we're gonna do anything <laughs> no. we honestly need sleep so bad it's actually crazy excuse me um <laughs> but i'm excited i haven't had gelato all day we had some yesterday but everybody keeps getting these exotic flavors and i don't know where they're getting them from so <laughs> i hope that today we can find some but yeah we had a really good day today a lot of business visits that were very informative um but i think the main takeaway from today is that we need rest so after this i'm gonna wrap it up and go to sleep guys we got our gelato looks really good i got salted caramel those were the flavors as you saw and then which one did you get pastry cream pastry cream interesting so yeah you gotta kind of sometimes stick to what you know but this is really good okay guys so i know i said in the last clip that i wasn't going out tonight <laughs> but um i lied decisions were made and here i am in the streets of milan once again <laughs> but we're going to another hookah lounge tonight um, this one's called Sahara, and it's different from the last one. I don't know how much, but we'll see, and I'm excited. Um, they call their hookah here shisha, so if I ever say shisha, that's hookah. So far, 8 out of 10. Drinks are good though, so they're much stronger than last night. So we'll see how this night goes. I'm not doing too much though. Uh, we gotta get up in the morning and I'm trying to sleep, so. I'm so excited about this. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it's day three and we're headed to Florence today. We woke up, maybe went to breakfast, it just depended on the person. And now we're headed to Florence. It's approximately like a four hour bus ride. So we're all on here. They're having a little bit of trouble because we all pack so much. So they're trying to fit it onto the, um, to the bus, but it's okay. Cause we're on here chilling, about to get some good sleep and see what Florence is um, going to bring. I'm really excited. I had a great time in Milan. Three day recap, I would rate it a 10 out of 10. I went out almost every night. But yeah, great day or great time in Milan. And I'm really excited to see what Florence brings us. And yeah, that's pretty much it.